and welcome back to Patsy's Place. I'm Patsy Puglisi, I'm your chef. I want to first thank everyone for the enthusiastic response we got from the first podcast on our simple tomato sauce. And we're back again today and we're going to do another simple sauce. We're going to do a roasted pork tenderloin with a sweet fig sauce. And as you can see, I'm shooting in my home kitchen instead of at the restaurant to show you that you can do this at home. It's so simple. And remember, if you want the recipe, just go to our website at www.patsysplacetv.com and download it for yourself. So what we started with is we have eight dried figs and I chopped them coarsely. Then we're going to take two cinnamon sticks, two sprigs of rosemary, a tablespoon of honey, a cup and a quarter of chicken stock. Our next ingredient is going to be two and a half cups of port wine. Now you're going to put this on your stove top. And you're going to bring this to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, we're going to set it down the heat to a medium heat and we're going to let it reduce by half. It should take around 30 minutes. So while that's cooking, let's get our pork tenderloin ready to get in the oven. So now we're going to prep our, our, our pork tenderloin. This one weighs, it's around a pound and a half. And what I did was I made some, took some uh, fresh garlic, rosemary, and two tablespoons of olive oil and mix it together. I'm going to brush this on with my fork here. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to take a, a few potatoes and chop them up. And put them in with the rosemary and the garlic and olive oil. Look at that. Looks great. We're going to add a little kosher salt, black pepper, and this is going to go into a 425 degree oven until your pork roast is around 160 degrees. Okay, now our sauce has reduced by half. Our pork loin is out of the oven and it's resting. Remove the rosemary and the cinnamon sticks from uh, your sauce. We're gonna put it here in our Cuisinart or you can put it in a blender. Add three pats of butter, pepper, and salt. Now don't overdo it, you can salt it to taste later. You just put a little, just for, for seasoning. And then my trick is we're gonna add a cup of fresh raspberries. And we're gonna have a beautiful, tasty fig sauce. You wanna puree it? So it's a smooth consistency. Oh my God, that is so good. The aroma, you're gonna be a hit. You're gonna be a hit at the next time you have a dinner party and you have this. So, this is ready. Let's, our Potatoes are ready. Our pork is ready. Let's slice it up. Now, if you see here, it's been resting. Done. Beautiful. Cooked. Perfect. Look how juicy. Wonderful. Now, remember, when the pork comes out of the oven, you want to let it rest for at least 10 minutes. This way, because if you cut it right away, you're going to lose all the juices and it's going to dry up. So, let's slice this up. Now we're going to add 
this to our plate. Wonderful, look at that. I know you want to take a bite. Then we're going to take our rosemary potatoes. You're going to take your sweet fig sauce. And put it right over your pork. A little rosemary for garnish. And there you have it. Roasted pork tenderloin with a sweet fig sauce. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed making my pork tenderloin with sweet fig sauce. Remember, you can go to www.patsysplacetv.com and download the recipe. So, bon gusto, and we'll see you next time at Patsy's Place.